bookish friends welcome back to amanda's bookish adventures it is my mid-year freak out book tag that's been going around youtube and i figured i would do it as well i had time today to film it so the first question is best book you've read so far and that would be i think it came out last year payback's a wish payback's a witch it's about emmy harlow and she fled town because garth books he when in high school he broke her self-esteem so down that she left town wasn't going to do anything about the town wanted nothing to do with her ancestral rights as a witch so when you leave the town you slowly lose your abilities the town is where you have your magical abilities so her father writes her a letter says i need you to come back to be the judge for this tournament she comes back and finds out not only did her best friend date the guy because her best friend assumed she was never going to come back to town tyla uh yeah it's Ty tyla or tyla armino who is gorgeous stunning dated him as well and they all come uh, up with a plan to make sure he d his family does not win the tournament and they get their revenge the best way i could say it and i did say it in my review is it's the tri rosa tournament meets john tucker must die plus it's queer and I loved it and the next book is out and I haven't read it yet which I'm really sad because I think it came out right after I finished this that book and I haven't got to it yet so the best sequel you've read so far in 2022 is Fake by Tate James it is in the reverse it's a reverse hair series it's Madison Kate and Madison Kate meets these guys and one night and then she gets arrested she hates them so in the second book in the series they're all, I love the Madison Kate series. But the cliffhanger at the end of that book, I couldn't even predict it was coming. All of the cliffhangers in those books were amazing. I loved it. But I would say Madison Kate, when the series starts, she's 18 going to college. When the series ends, she's in her early 20s. I think she's barely 21 when the series ends. Or at least the fourth book. There is a novella, but you don't read the novella until you finish the Hades series because it spoils book three and book four in the Hades series. So, question three. A release you haven't read yet and really want to. I have not got to or not have bought yet. Gallant by V. Schwab. Uh, it was on like one of my most top ten books I wanted to read this year haven't got it haven't read it yet it is on the plans to get very soon but I definitely want to read it it looks so good and all the covers I absolutely love so question four most anticipated release for the second half of the year I have two and I've written them down so I have the book of Gothel and Belladonna so the book of Gothel is basically it's Gothel's story the witch who put Rapunzel in the tower so it says, Hellwise has always lived under the shadow of her mother, Hedda, a woman who will do anything to keep her daughter protected for her daughter protected. For with strange black eyes and even stranger feigning spells, Hellwise is shunned by her village and her only solace lies in the stories her mother tells of child stealing witches, of princes in wolf skins, of an ancient tower cloaked in mist where women will find shelter if they are brave enough to seek it. So I've definitely been looking forward to that. I think that comes out in July 26, I want to say. And then Belladonna orphaned as a baby. 19-year-old Cigna has been raised by a string of guardians. Each, yeah, it's 19 or 18, has been raised by a string of guardians, each more interested in her wealth than her well-being. Each has met an untimely end. Her remaining re relatives are exclusive Hawthor elusive Hawthorns are an eccentric family living at living at Thorn Grove, an estate both glittering and gloomy. Its patriarch mourns his late wife through parties while his son grapples, grapples for control of the family's waning reputation and his daughter suffers from a mystery from a mysterious illness. But when their mother, Restly Spirit, appears claiming she was poisoned, Signa realizes that the family she depended on could be in grave danger. Enlist, enlist the help of a surly stable boy to hunt down the killer. I've 
didn't know nothing about the description for Belly Dawn. I just saw the cover last year and I was like, I really want to read it. The synopsis is made me more want to read that and it comes out August 30th, I believe. There are others, but these are just the top two I really want to read. The others are sequels and I don't really want to spoil the first book. So for question big five, biggest disappointment of the year so far, Master of the Hunt. So I got it for free off Kindle. And I love set. one of my favorite books in my entire life is a centaur romance. It's in the back bedroom. I don't know. I think it's like Divine by a Mistake. And I love that book. And when I found out it was a centaur romance, I was so happy. It was short. So I was like, okay. And it's a series. So I give it a two stars. So when the book starts, I can't even remember. I didn't like it. So when the book starts, they already have a history. The witches guard the one side of the lake and the centaurs guard the other side of the river. Their species each, their males suffered and died from each species. Centaurs females died. So their biggest thing is they capture uh, the witches. For Centaurs capture witches and those are their brides. The witches capture centaurs. They're the husbands. They did have peace, but mostly that broke right after the plague hit. Then they basically kind of share husbands to repopulate the species on both sides and the wives. They both guard it and then you go and there's already history like he likes stealing her stuff. She likes messing with his camp. We didn't even like where it started I think was the biggest disappointment because it talked about like they had such a history. It barely went over the history. Like, it should have started when they first met and led, like, up from a young age. Or the prologue should have been from the young age up to the story. There's these creatures that did make the plague and that they take their souls and stuff like that. That they find and they have to hunt together. And then the witches see her with a centaur and basically, like, well, we need to share him as a husband to repopulate. You'll be the late main wife, but... I want my daughter to have his genes to pass on to the next. The same with his people when they catch her, him with her and so on and so forth. It was really disappointing because we don't have a lot of centaur romances. And I was so looking forward to it. And it just, it just was not, I don't want to say well written because some of it was. It's just where it started. And if I think if it was not, I think it ended at 200 because it's like a Kindle book. I think it should have been 400 pages. It needed that story. It needed the development. So six biggest surprise of the year that I like the reverse harem trope. I read the Madison Kate series and I found that off of Kehlani Simply Me and I've never read a, a harem or a reverse harem. I loved the Madison Kate series. I bought all the books for the Haiti series. I'm buying all the book for the guild which the last book comes out at the end of the month of June on the 24th. So comes out tomorrow, Friday, because I'm filming this on Thursday. I have loved it. I have bought Deceived by the Gargoyles. I have a bunch saved on my Amazon cart to get. It's just, if it's done well, I absolutely thrive and I love it. And I just, I really want to read more. So that was question six. Question seven, favorite new author, debut, or new to you? Tate James. I love the Madison Kate series. I'm going to read the Haiti series by her. The Guild series, she has a bunch of backlist, a bunch that she's co-written with authors. I'm excited to get more into her writing. So, eight is the newest fictional crush. I have two. So, from Paybacks, A Witch, Talia Aroma. She is uh, a bad girl. She has a bad girl vibe, a heart of gold. She's, because of her family's kind of has a lure like the opposite sex or even any gender are so attracted to them. They kind of get like used and she gets battered down and she was absolutely amazing in Paybacks, which I absolutely adore her. The second crush is Max Steele from the Madison Kate series. He writes music, he plays the piano. He's very haunted. I don't want to say it, but his past is very haunted and 
His relationship with his friends are absolutely amazing that I absolutely loved. So, question 10, a book that made you cry, Heartstopper, volume 4. I've read all the Heartstopper graphic novels and I've always felt emotional and happy. With what happened in Heartstopper, volume 4, I got with all all of it I just I absolutely cried I think there was others but I don't think I read them this year I think I read them last year but for the one that has made me cry so far this year has been Heartstopper Volume 4 it makes me nervous to pick up Heartstopper Volume 5 but I absolutely want to I haven't even watched the tv show I forgot that came out but I have to read that or watch it very soon. I was just very busy when it came out and it got on the back burner. So, my question, I think I might have skipped over question 11. I don't even have that written down. All right, I'll have to write it down. I'll just answer what I have written down and then go back and find out what question 11 was. So question 12, most beautiful books you have bought this year, Legends of Lattes and House of Sky and Breath. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? That's question 13. I need to read sequels. Like, my biggest thing is I wanted to read sequels. I have such a problem of starting a new series and not continuing on. So just any sequel that I have bought that I have to read is mostly it. I, Prince, uh, what is it? The Folk of Air series I need to read the sequels for. Need to create, yeah, I think The Folk of Air the Star Sight series. There's others I just don't have on the top of my head. So I will be right back with question 11. I need to find out why I didn't write Question that. 11 is a book that made you happy. The Viscount Who Loved Me. I loved Anthony and Kate's story. I loved it in the book. We got the original. I loved the show, but the book with the B scene was the marriage of convenience, the chemistry and just the interactions, even with Colin. Colin for, I need to read the next two because I want to read Colin's story so bad because you don't see his interaction with the characters. Like he had such interaction with Daphne and such a big interaction with Kate and the stories. And I just love them. And I love the Bridgerton family and I want to continue on. So that is the, hold on. It's, yeah, it's the mid-gear freakout tag. I was going to say it's the library tag because I filmed that just recently. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to see if you have yours done. I link them down below and I'd love to see it. Um, hopefully you've had a great year. I'd love to hear your thoughts. See you in the next video. Bye for now.